Today, a Texas man went to court to try to force a hospital to take his wife off life support. Eric Munoz says his wife would not want to be kept alive, but the hospital says that Texas law requires life support because she's pregnant. Here's Manuel Bajorquez. Marlise Munoz was 14 weeks pregnant with her second child when her husband found her unconscious. Her family says doctors at this Fort Worth hospital suspect a blood clot in Munoz's lung and told them she was brain dead. The 33-year-old has been on a breathing machine at John Peter Smith Hospital since November. In today's lawsuit, her family says she expressed clearly her desire not to be resuscitated in such a situation. Lynn Machado is her mother. I just, I break down and I cry because I know in my heart my daughter's gone. Um, but to see her shell there and being forced to be alive by the ventilators and, and the, um, you know, the feeding tubes and all, we feel like we're caught in this limbo. Although the condition of the fetus is unclear, the hospital says it must abide by a 1999 Texas law which says a person may not withdraw or withhold life-sustaining treatment under this subchapter from a pregnant patient. No matter what, she did not want to be hooked up to machines. Munoz is listed in serious condition, and the hospital refuses to confirm whether she is legally brain dead, citing patient confidentiality. The hospital's strict interpretation of the law shields it from any liability if it is accused of prematurely withdrawing life support. But Thomas Mayo, a law professor at SMU who helped write the Texas statute, says the hospital may be misinterpreting the law. If she's brain dead, the Texas Advanced Directives Act does not apply. It's a act that's all about treatments for people who are alive and have certain medical conditions. Munoz's mother told us doctors here at the hospital have scheduled further tests next month to check the condition of the fetus. But Scott, the lawsuit asks that doctors disconnect the breathing machine immediately. Turns out about 12 states have a law similar to Texas. Manuel, thanks very much.